so we're, we're out here at the, the Red Cow Farms, the horticultural conservatory uh, lo located nearby to my, my home, which is right there. Tons of beautiful plants. My father's an avid gardener. Unfortunately, in the last couple of years, we've been ravaged, Frankie, by a terrible, terrible pest. The winter moth. Mm -hmm. It's bad enough they crawl up the trees, they defoliate the trees, that can kill the trees. We've lost a couple of trees to that. But worse than that is the poop. Mm -hmm. All right, let me tell you. And if you listen at night, you can actually hear the winter moth poop. Mass pooping? Mass pooping. What does that sound like? It, it's just like a little, no, it just sounds like a continuous kind of like, like soft, Susurus. Ew. It makes the outside completely unusable. Can't have parties, can't have cookouts. No, we had to cover over everything. All of the chairs by the end of the afternoon all had poop on them. And it's not like, you know, it's not like dog poop, right? It's just little tiny balls that they drop and then they smear if you, if you touch them. Yeah. I am gonna fight a battle against the winter moths. I don't think I'm gonna win. Some of you who are familiar with these pests, invasive species just really came into the area past 10 years. Really bad in our area right now. So the main step, Frankie, I have taken is to band the trees. I've plastic wrapped about 75 trees. Then I've taped them so they won't come off. And then I've put this, this chemical compound, okay? This is called Tanglefoot. And the idea is that these bugs don't touch it, it'll ruin you. The bugs um, actually have been laid on the trees in November. If you look up close here, you can see that there's a bunch of bugs already trapped in this stuff. The whole function of this stuff is that as the little winter moths crawl up the tree, they get stuck in this and die. They climb all the way up to the top, they eat a little, they fall down, and then go again. Right. Over and over. So hopefully, they'll get, don't, don't, don't touch. It's actually totally organic and safe, but it's super sticky. Ew. Ew, no. It's been around for, for almost 100 years now in the same basic formulation. It's just resins. It won't dissolve in rain. So when it rains, it's not water soluble. It won't move anywhere once you smear it on. There's a slight risk that by wrapping the trees, you can see that there's some moisture under here. That's not really good for the trees. If you had no trees at all, would you not get them? They can survive on some plants. They don't actually eat the bamboo, which we have a lot of. He's got a lot of bamboo. So that's prong one of the winter moth defense, right? Prong two, I actually did last year. It's a uh, insecticide that you mix with water and feed the trees. And so when they grow leaves, Leaves, the insecticide is in the leaves, and when they eat the leaves, they die. Then I've got one more technique. It's called BT, is the name of the chemical. It's actually a little microbe that you can spray onto them, onto leaves, yeah. and it will kill specifically winter moss and chewing caterpillars when they eat it. It only lasts until it rains, and then you have to apply it again. I see over a dozen trees that have been wrapped. Yes. Did you do all of those? I did them all. That was my prototype tree. I did it a little differently. Got some aluminum foil and duct tape. You can see this has caught a tremendous number of small flies. Look at this guy. He is safely below the stickage. And that's actually one of the moths, but he can't go anywhere else. Uh huh. He's stuck. That's yeah. kind of sad. It's not that sad. They're awful, awful creatures. <laughs> they poop everywhere. I'm gonna lose this battle in stages. I'm just trying to send a message. I've done about 70 trees, okay? Look over there at all the other trees there are that I didn't do. Right. Landscape the entire space and get rid of some trees. Well, Frankie, trees are beautiful. And not when they're beautiful. So that's round one of this fight, Frankie. We'll be back, we'll check later on and see how things progress with this battle of the winter moss.